Welcome to the last episode of Cheeky TV Extreme. Usually I was the one being cheeky and now my team wants to take revenge. This time my challenge will be all about hot machines. Mit ganz heißen Maschinen und dabei echt viel Spaß haben. We also update you with the latest news from our region. <coughs> After the news we have... What's next, Carol? Right, the battle. After the battle, I'm going to do the check. And last but not least, this episode of Diana Learns will be pretty extreme. I can promise I will be flirt and extremely sporty. I used today's challenge to prove that racers are better on their bikes than crossers. Today I check out the sandpit of the motocross club AMC Giesecke. It would be ridiculous if I, as an experienced motorbiker, couldn't swirl up some sand. See, if a young buddy like him can do it. At first my ninja and I chickadee check out the track. So what's up here? Stop right there. Why? This track is for motocross bikes only. But this is my baby. As a racing girl I need my racing bike. This is my baby too, but I could offer you to ride on my baby. Not sure if I like this, but okay. When seeing this dust, I'm happy my baby is safe and pump Peter for motocross details. What's the worst thing that could happen in motocross biking? Basically, fractures. Leg fractures, arm fractures. We can hear it's very loud here. There are no tracks in cities, are there? Uh, no, <laughs> definitely not. No, definitely not. Even the residents in the next village, which is about six kilometers away, sometimes hear us from here. We have a limit of 92 decibels here. That is like a, a Hannah Montana concert, I guess. And then I want to try it myself. Convinced to beat Kosa Jan on the track. Quite bumpy, such a sand pit. First, I'm trying to get familiar with the bike and the track. And at the beginning, the chances of victory are evenly balanced. I get some speed downhill, and while Jan easily takes the curve, careful, I'll make my first chop. Oh dear. Ouch. That was close to a crash. And here from Jan's perspective, a nice little jump into the crush barrier. Well, this could be me. And this is Jan and their fellow. Peter. Peter, how are you? Now I'm fine, as you're back. I'm still shaking. I think that was pretty close to some crashes, wasn't it? What I've seen wasn't bad, but sometimes a bit risky. Well, not bad for a beginner. Can I still become world champion if I keep on practicing? If you keep on practicing, maybe. So muddy ground won't work? No, I ride in good weather only. I realize since you fell behind and I easily won. If that's your opinion? <laughs> Joking aside, you were the better rider and I liked your jumps in between. Anyways, my conclusion is that races and crosses are totally different and therefore there shouldn't be any trouble. Both is great fun and scary if you do it for the first time. Because of that and because it was really exhausting, I'm looking forward to a shower. Thanks guys. But first I leave my cheeky mark on Peter's baby.
Round one. Fight. Ten seconds left. Round one. Draw. I'm in the Safari Park Zoo Stukenbrock next to the high rope course. This is the new attraction and it makes me nervous and excited at the same time. Susanna Stubenbrock ist bei Stubenbrock, sage ich schon. Susanna Stubbe ist bei mir. Und Susanna Stubbe äh, ist hier to comfort me. Susanna, can I fall down? Uh, fallen, aber nicht tief. You can fall down, but it won't be deep, since you are secured by this rope. Ist man eingehängt, also you might go in a swing if you aren't careful, but I think you should be fine. Ich bin ganz zuversichtlich eigentlich. Baumstämme, ne? Hat man ja ganz gerne auch mal lieb. Man soll ja öfter auch einen Baum umarmen, weil dann die negative Energie in den Boden geht, ne? It's something that gets people active, and the cheetahs are fine with it. With 6,000 square meters, we provide Europe's biggest cheetah enclosure. The animals seem to be curiously watching people climbing five meters above their heads. Everybody loves doing it, so the crazy ideas of my boss seem to be working out. Bin gespannt, ob ich hier wirklich noch heile durch. I'm curious if I manage to get through the course or if I end up as cheetah food. How about you watch the news and the battle and then we'll see how far I got. anschauen, bis ich dann hoffentlich heile wieder ankomme. He's back at work. The old locomotive Emil Meirisch rolls again. The exhibition 85 years of Exatal train and 115 years railway Lemgo Harmen offer the journey back in time for the passengers of the locomotive. The next opportunity to gain nice views, unusual trains and unique train experiences including loads of steam will be coming soon. Don't miss it. From 7th to 10th June, the 8th International Short Film Festival, the ISFF, took place in Detmold. About 250 shorts were shown and loads of cultural exhibitions and events enriched the program. Guests from Spain and Turkey received workshops, played instruments and camped together. An inspirational atmosphere and great shorts at the 8th ISFF in Detmold. On the 1st of June, there was quite a graceful appearance at the first ball of the University of Applied Sciences Ostwestfalen-Lippe. My extraordinary dress impressed the guests. Well, some of them. Cheekily, I took over our university's president to show him some moves. One to the front, two steps back, uh, wasn't it? We didn't do too bad, though. After a cheeky refreshment, actually quite nice. I dared to dance with the experienced dancers. Oh dear. I sang some songs with a band until the last glasses were empty and everyone went home. Round two.
to sign. I thought I'm going to hang out for a little while. My right foot doesn't really like it, but never mind. Let's see if I make it to the end. You also find out who wins the final battle of Diana versus Simon. And of course, I will give my very best. This episode will end very sporty as I try to do my first triathlon. Why did they have to call just now? Everyone says you get to do great things on TV. Not sure about this. The high rope course of Stukenbrock has been cheekily checked. Round three, fight! Oh, was that an old dominant hit? Will she be able to get up, or is this the end? King is oh, yeah. Simon. I went running just for you. Went up thousands of steps for you. And was forced to go for a swim. And then I went for the extreme. On the 2nd of June, I started at the triathlon in Lippstadt with a penacity to swim through 1.5 km lake water. Quite soon I realized that I should have trained a little more. Although fallen behind, I didn't give up. The last shall be the first. Whereas everyone crawled, I tried out different swim styles. And while everyone was on their bikes, I was about to reach dry land. I'm finally getting here, I can't believe it. Just some more meters and then woohoo. Oh, Let's see if it's gonna get a triathlon or just a swimathlon. When reaching my first pit stop, I was told that Formula One reporter Florian König was also participating. What's that supposed to mean? I was the top dog, I wasn't just participating. As a meaningful personality, I try to make up ground on the bike. Up, up, party. Rock and roll! While the ambitious cyclists were speeding up, I prefer to have fun with the spectators. I mean, of course I gave my very best. Did I ever tell you that I had never practiced on racing bikes? Never mind. Still smiling, I arrived at the second pit stop. In contrast to you, little pussy, I managed to finish the Olympic distance. Well, you know, that's what defines a good athlete. You should know what distance you can manage, and obviously, the Olympic distance was too long for you. Yes, it was long. After 40 km on the bike, I was supposed to run 10 km. But Florian was right. I overestimated myself. I went the wrong way. The marshals had gone home already. Therefore, my own escort came to pick me up. The Olympic distance is very long. How much time did it take for you? Probably almost three hours? Three and a half. Yeah, but doing extreme sports for three and a half hours, swimming one and a half kilometers in open water, 
Well, I have to give you my respect, really. For someone that's never done it before, super. Totally mental, but great fun, even though it became really tough at a certain point. My legs are killing me now and I'm starving. And as I didn't have any water, I'm pretty thirsty. But I made it. And then I went home, real slow. You thought this was it? Are you kidding? Now I'll do the greatest challenge ever. With this protective clothing and this inflammable equipment, I should be fine. Let's go. So what's up, Diana? Are you ready for some chess extreme? Yeah. <laughs> 